Hello ladies, I wanted to jump in here today and talk to you about how the enemy binds the strong man or the strong woman, making us weak, ineffective, and eventually dead. Um, so I have been studying just recently, um, right now I'm in the middle of the book of Mark, and this verse jumped out at me when it has never jumped out at me before, and I'm pretty sure the reason is because of, you know, how our world has been for the last handful of years. But it's about binding the strong man, and it's Mark 3.27. And let me, it's a short verse, let me read it to you really quickly. It says, and this is in the King James Version, No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first binds the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Okay, well, how does the enemy bind us, bind the strong man, and the strong woman? Well, there's a host of different ways that he is doing that currently, and he uses the world um, to do it, and he does it through a host of different ways. And let's talk about some of those ways. Um, it's no, in, in no particular order, and they all lace together, um, making a, a very effective binding of a uh, strong men and women. So one of the things he does is he starts by wrecking our health. Um, and there's a myriad of ways that he does that. It is through processed foods, vegetables, seed oils, trans fats, highly inflammatory and very much hurt us um, and wreck our health. Sugar, highly addictive, um, way too much caffeine, um, our food, our, our air, our soil is contaminated by the things that they spray in the air, the things that they spray on the ground, on our crops, the things that they, uh, the toxins they put in our water like fluoride, uh, which um, reduces our IQs. And that's just one of the things it does. We'll, we'll leave it there at this time. Um, so they, they're, they're poisoning all of our natural resources and the things that we put in our mouth. Um, our healthcare system, first of all, there's misleading false nutrition information, demonizing organic foods, healthy foods even. Um, and, that, and our health system, it's instead of um, healing us, it is a pill, in, I'm speaking in general, so there are some, some good doctors, but in general, really not so much. So it is a pill for every symptom, instead of really digging in to what is causing your sickness and then healing it by good nutrition, um, and exercise and sunshine and water, most doctors don't even have a basic understanding of nutrition. So, you know, we're sunk before we even walk into the, into the door of a doctor's office, if you ask me. Um, they glorify, they've been glorifying obesity. That one's not really, and why? Binding the strong man. If we're sick, we're fat, we're unhealthy, we cannot, we're not strong people, we're ineffective, we're weak, um, we don't think for ourselves, and I'm getting ahead of myself here, but glorifying obesity, again, that one really hasn't landed, because then here's the flip side of it, Ozempic, which is a million dollar billion dollar, excuse me, um, industry, and it's just ratcheting up because it's rather effective, Ozempic, actually, um, in helping you by pill form, not changing diet or lifestyle, to lose weight. And there's a host of side effects, which I could get into another time. Um, but in other words, you know, ease, that's, that's one of the ways that um, we, he, the enemy binds the strong man, is wanting everything easy. So we take a pill for a cure. We take a pill to lose weight. Um, everything fast and easy. That makes us soft, ineffectual. Um, and what is this end goal, really, in, in wrecking our health? And actually wrecking our health so that it, in the most profitable for, form for um, medical system, for big pharma, um, it's to, to eventually, you know, wipe us off the map, quite honestly. To, to make sure to make us sick, to make us weak, 
and to eventually make us dead through the way that we eat um, and what they do to our food and our water. But one of the next things that they do is the way we, in our thinking, they want to wreck our ability to think. There's a whole host of ways that they do this. Through our digital devices, we are spending way too much time, way too much screen time, and it is wrecking our ability to focus, our ability to think, our ability to read. You know, our poor kids, the more digital time they have, the more inability they are able to, to focus on schoolwork and, and, and thinking and retaining. Um, it breaks that ability to focus. Um, also still uh, bringing back in that health, that it, when we're eating junk, our mind is unable to think clearly, unable to fo focus. Um, then there is the propaganda machine. When we listen to mainstream media, um, they're all in lockstep with their official scripted narrative. Um, and it is psychological warfare, whether you want to believe this or not. They only report to us what their official narrative is. They only report to us their version of the truth and then leave out the things that they do not want us to know, the actual truth. Um, they give us a version, a twisted truth. Um, and if you are binging on that, you are not getting the facts. You are not getting accurate information. And we have to change where we're getting our news. Um, the next thing, and why are they doing that? Because they are afraid of critical thinkers. They're afraid of people who are willing to reach, you know, not just buy everything that they're being sold, which is what, um, <laughs> um, you know, the mainstream media is. They're selling a narrative to us. Um, and they don't want the people who are going to question it. They do not want free-thinking, independent, critical thinkers. So they, uh, you know, throw everything at us so that we're not thinking for ourselves. Um, another thing that, you know, another place that they attack the bind, uh, to a bind a strong man or woman is in our finances. So they make everything unaffordable. They create, they create, it's engineered, inflation. They create scarcity, which creates, creates inflation in prices going through the roof, um, making everything unaffordable, um, making it hard to afford healthy food. In fact, you know, you can buy a 99 cent taco, but an avocado is $1.50, $2. You know, the healthy food is expensive. Trash food, not very much money at all. Um, and then the taxes getting higher and higher. Every way to make it unaffordable for us to, to live, which causes worry, which causes stress. The stress causes ill health, you know, mental issues, um, depression, all of these things binding us because we can't, we're broke, you know, we can't do anything. Um, because, so they do, the enemy does it through finances taking away free speech. Um, this is done in a, in, a, in a variety of ways. First of all, if you're a man, both of these things um, binding us because of our fear, uh, which they've created, you know. We only speak a, uh, a, an official, the, the approved narrative, culturally approved narrative, or they're going to shut us down, whether it's on our platforms, make fun of us, all those different ways to stop us from speaking, um, or just straight out. If, if the truth is not what we say the truth is, we're not going to allow you to speak it. And it or it becomes hate speech, or it becomes conspiracy theories. You know, They just make us so that we keep our mouths shut if our voice is different than um, what's the cultural norm. Um, Another way they bind the strong man is to confuse you whether or not you are a man or you are a woman. You know, you, they take away your identity or tell you you're somebody else. So they take away your God-created image. We were, we were um, created in the image of man and they place over it the image of the devil. When we, when they confuse us to whether or not we, when we were, 
born a woman or born a man. Well, no, you're, you're gender fluid. You can be whatever gender you choose. So they confuse us and they make us weak because there's no strong men and there's no strong women. Um, and that's all, again, engineered, created. Um, it's laughing at God because we were created in his image. They, they create division. Um, <laughs> what is the saying? Divide and conquer? That's exactly what it means. When they have us fighting each other, then we're not looking at who the true enemy is, which is the, which is the uh, devil working through these variety forms of government, the evil cabal, you know, they're the true enemy creating division, creating racism, creating hate, so that we're fighting each other, separating us, um, and then they conquer us. That is exactly what it's for. Um, they take away our freedom, so they bind us by um, implementing ridiculous mandates and policies by um, the pandemics that they cause and that they create. Um, another way, that in, 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 within these mandates, they also separated us. They kept us away from family, from family gatherings. Um, we could, you know, all the policies that they implemented, we could, we could go to a strip club or a bar, but we couldn't go to church. Clear, clear evil. Um, if you, if you're one of these critical thinkers and can figure this out on your own. Um, and there was a lot more in these mandates that was created to actually bind us and to control us. And it, it was a test run because they'll try it again. I don't know that they, they and I'm praying that, they, that they're not going to succeed. And, in, and the words that I'm putting out there is they won't succeed, which we have the authority to do. Again, I'm getting ahead of myself. But yes, um, those were another way to bind the strong man. Um, and then finally, they take away God. What makes the strong man and the strong woman is God. They take God even out of our church, which is a scary thought. But a lot of churches hasn't, hasn't, hasn't actually seen God in it for some time now. Um, they have created false theologies, false gods confuse the people because we don't get in the word ourselves. Um, telling us we don't need to get in the world, word ourselves, you know, just listen to these false prophets, these, these false pastors, um, these, and then creating these fake gods, and they take away the Holy Spirit, um, saying that the Holy Spirit isn't, in a variety of ways they do this as well, that it's not part of the Trinity. Um, or he just gets set set aside. We pet, we pull him out every once in a while and we pet him on the head, you know, um, for our, for peace, love, joy, but forget the power. They bind us by lying to us that we have no authority, we have no, uh, we have no power. When Christ himself said, I give you the keys, I give you, I have been given all authority, now I give you the authority, go. Um, he was given the keys of the kingdom to bind the evil and to loose the good. And we are set above all principalities, all evil, all darkness. But the enemy does not want us to know that. And that's how he, another way of binding the strong man is hiding from us that we have the power and taking away from us the faith that, um, that we are able to use this power and so we don't step out in it. Um, so he lies to us about what keys, what authority we have been given over him because he knows <laughs> if we know who we are, he is defeated. So they take all of these things to bind us and to eventually wipe us off the planet. So what do we do? What are we to do as the tip of the spear women, the warrior women, that we, that God needs us to be, that he put us on here on this planet to be? We take back our health. 
We have to take, we have to get back in control of our own lives. We cannot wait for somebody else to do it, for the doctors to do it, for um, anybody else. We take, we take back control. We take back control of our health. We, and, and that means we have to be the strong, we have to be the strong woman. We have to implement our wills over the ease of, of the world, okay? So we eat the right foods, we exercise, we take back our control of our health, we, we follow the right people who are teaching us the right things about health. We, we go out and we search for true health information so that we can become knowledgeable and heal ourselves. Um, because God has put in place all of these myriad of ways that we can take our health back and be in control of our health. Um, we take back our thinking. <laughs> we limit screen time so that we can heal our brains again, so we can get our focus back. We also, it has to do with the foods that we eat. We, again, eat the right foods so that we can think. We find alternative news sources so that we know that we're getting the right news. We think for ourselves. We research for ourselves. We um, read, we, we study for ourselves. We read the right materials so that we can grow in the areas so that we can teach others. Um, we invest in our own personal growth because the more we make ourselves better, the more then that we become this strong woman and we become full of this treasure, but then we now have the ability to go out and teach and grow others. But it starts, all of this starts with ourselves. We have to change. We have to take back our independence. We have to take back our health. We have to take back our minds. We have to take back our finances. Get our finances back in order, whatever that takes. We have to take, get in control of our finances. And one of the ways to do this is we have to make ourselves better so that we can start increasing our wealth in every area in our health, our thinking, our finances. Um, we take back our voice. We, we get over our fear. We, sh we just walk right through the fear. We do it afraid. We speak truth. Regardless of our fear, for whatever reason that's causing us to stop speaking truth so that people can have the truth, so people can be equipped, so people that can, so can be knowledgeable, we speak the truth. Um, when we don't, we, keep, we, we stop being separated. We come together. And that is how we conquer, is we come, we come, we love each other, we come back together, we stop being separated. Um, and, uh, and that way we get our strength back. It's, we, we have our strength together, not separate. Um, and then we take God back. <laughs> we get back into the word, the power of the word. The sword is the word. We get our strength back from our relationship with God, knowing God, being filled with the Holy Spirit, knowing what our authority is, knowing what our identity is in Christ, um, stepping out in faith. The more we step out in faith, the stronger we become. Um, faith is in uh, what we hope for, and it's in the evidence of, not, of things not seen. So. The more we step out in the things that we, even if we don't see it, the more it, we're going to have it in our hands. So we have to get back in relationship with God. All of these things, this is what creates the strong man, is God-centered, getting in, in control of all of these other things, becoming excellent in all of, the others, in all of these other places, um, and then teaching our families, our circle, the nations, it just becomes this big ripple effect as we get better, as we get back in control.
take control back because that's what the enemy does. He wants to steal our power. We get back our power. We take it back. We don't listen to the lies anymore. We get back in control. We take back our strong woman. Um, so I hope you have heard this today. Um, and what the enemy is up to, this is what he's doing. He, he just he hates us and wants to wipe, wipe us off the planet. And we need to get back in control. So you guys have, have an awesome Thursday, and I will see you again soon.